close your eyes and watch your breath. If the mind wanders off, put up a fence around it and say, time to go back, back to the breath. Otherwise you wander around and you get the mind in all kinds of trouble. But if you have a sense of boundaries for your mind, can you keep yourself safe? This is a principle that operates on many levels in the practice, like the precepts we take every week. Those are boundaries for your behavior, boundaries for your intentions, because it's your intentions that are in charge of your behavior. So you don't want to intentionally kill, steal, have illicit sex, take alcohol, or any other intoxicants, or lie. And this way you keep yourself safe. Now, many of us don't like boundaries. We like to feel that we're free to do what we want, but then children feel that way too. They'd like to be free to do what they want. They like to wander out. Sometimes they say sitting in the middle of the street is a nice place to play. That's why you have to put up a fence for them so they, before they understand things, you've got them protected. And then as they grow older, they begin to understand, and then they stay out of the street on their own. In our minds, if we still feel that it's okay to break any of the precepts, okay, we're li still like little children. The precepts are there to remind you, okay, this is where the safe territory ends, and this is where the unsafe territory begins. And they're very simple, they're very short, because there's so much in life that's complicated, and when you start getting involved in complicated things, it's easy to forget that there are basic principles that apply across the board. You can start seeing excuses for everything, excuses for breaking, for killing, for stealing, for, for everything in, this, in the precepts. But when you step back and you realize, okay, those excuses come from getting too involved in the complications, losing sight of the larger picture. So the precepts, because, because they're simple, help keep that larger print picture, that larger principle in mind. So this is why we have the precepts every week, every week, every week, to remind you this is really important. This is something you can't forget as you engage in your dealings with other people, because otherwise you get led down. Some countries, you know, all they all they do is drink alcohol all the time. And I was in France recently, and they were saying we've got to change this precept for France. I said, well, no, we've got to change France for the precept, because the precept is really what controls people behavior, people's behavior, and helps keep people from doing the things that are going to be harmful to themselves and harmful to others. The worst thing you can do, of course, is get other people to break the precepts too, because that's giving them bad karma, or it shows your intention that you want them to have bad karma. So you want to stay away from both sides. You don't do it yourself, you don't go to other people to break the precepts either. And this way you're safe. And after all, as you begin to realize, okay, as you live within the boundaries of the precepts, you really are safe and life is a lot better. Then the fence can go down. In other words, you, you realize that taking the precepts is just a ceremony. The real precepts have to do with your intention and your understanding of that intention. That way, as they say, the noble ones have virtue, but they don't have their virtue doesn't have training rules. In other words, they're trained. Training rules are like training wheels for us to make sure that we stay steady. But once we learn how to keep our balance, okay, we stick by these precepts on our own, whether we take them or not, they become a part of our character. That way we keep ourselves safe. This works for our benefit now and our benefit on into the next life and the lives after that. So try to keep these precepts in mind. They're short, simple, to the point. And even though we may tend to overlook things that are short and basic like this, they're, they're basic because they're important, not necessarily because they're easy. And they never, they're, it's easier to observe the precepts, actually, than it is to break them once you get used to it. But they're basic because they underline everything else. <laughs>